everyone, this is Sally with The Polka Dot Life. It has been freezing here at my home in Alabama, and I don't love that. I know that several parts of the United States have had bitterly cold temperatures over the last week or so. Today's stamp set makes me think of tropical vacations and warmer days ahead. Let's flip the camera down and get started. You will find the stamp sets that we are working with today in the Celebration catalog. Just to remind you, Celebration runs until February 28th of 2022. Let's open the catalog. When I first went through the catalog, I went right past this page. This didn't jump out at me or anything. It is called the Island Vibes stamp set but I was just so hurrying to get through to the middle of the catalog that I just glossed right over the front page. And a lot of times our publications are just other information on these first two pages. So I just didn't, it just didn't click with me. So we are going to be working with this stamp set. For our sentiments, we are going with the special moments sentiment stamp set. And that is on page 14 of your celebration catalog if you have one. If you don't already have a hard copy of the catalog, go on over to thepolka.life.com and you can get a digital copy there or you can request a hard copy of your very own. Our card is pretty straightforward today, but I just wanted to show you some different ways that you could use this set. We have some fun things that we get to play with today. The first of being some Bermuda Bay cardstock. I don't use it all that often and it's just such a happy, happy color. So it's just a standard card base and we're just going to crease this. I wanted to, my emphasis today to be more on what you could do with the stamps than a special folds or that kind of thing. When you're making your card bases, just take a look over them. Make sure they've they're closing this way. If one's a little bit longer, you'd want to make that your front. Um, but also paper is a process to be made. And like I can see here, there's just a little bit of flaw in that. And so I would either want to put it toward the back and depending on what you're going to do to the front of your card, you may want to put it there and cover it up. We are going to cover this little flaw up today. I think it's just a fiber or something that gets caught in there. My first version of this card, I like it. I just thought it had a little bit, maybe too much white space and it just needed something else. So that's why we are doing this one today with a few more elements. And I also thought it would be nice to kind of do a masculine card today. This wouldn't have to be masculine, but I think that it lends itself to that. It would, it would help you if you're struggling with that. And so I've just added this first layer. It's just another piece of Bermuda Bay, but I ran it through the textile embossing folder just to give it a little bit of dimension or texture. I thought that that was something that was lacking in the first version of my card. We are also pulling in some DSP from the Artfully Composed Designer Series Paper Pack in the January to June mini catalog. It doesn't even have this color listed, but it's what jumped out at me. And then we're also going to use some Coastal Cabana. And we're just simply going to layer these two pieces together. And I will have all the measurements and all that on the blog for you. You can find a link in the description box below if you are on YouTube. And we're just gonna simply layer this together. Nothing big or profound about this. I'm just gonna set that to the side. I have another piece and it could go either way, but I think I would like it this way it's mostly going to get covered up and I thought we needed to have something that wasn't so white. Although I do love a polka dot. Just love the layers of the detail of this paper. Even you can see this yellow, it might be Mango Melody, it may be like a Calypso Coral. It's very, very faint, but it's just a kind of sing in the background, if you will. It just kind of 
dulls the white space in that just a little tiny bit. Okay, we are set up to do some stamping. This stamp does tend to like a practice stamp. And I just re-inked my ink pads. And so I kind of want to give it a try and see how it does. Oh yeah, I think that was part of the problem is that my ink pad was just too dry. And I want to get this down far enough that this image all gets on there, but I also don't want to go too far down. I still want to get that portion over here on our stamp or on our piece of paper. You can see I just missed this a little bit here, so I will just take a little sliver of that off with my trimmer. There's always a way to fix boo-boos. We could flip it over even if we wanted to. I also want to practice with this. Two reasons. First of all, I also re-inked this stamp pad, so it is a little bit juicy. So I will have to have a light touch with that. Now, I didn't line that up, but it's nice just to practice it a few times to see, you know, just get yourself straight, see how it's going to stamp. I'm gonna pull this down out of frame for a minute because I need for this greeting to fit on here in a, just a specific point. No, I don't think I want to stamp off. I'm just gonna kind of give that a little pull. Sometimes that just if you have anything on your stamp that it's just not having it, that's sometimes the thing. This isn't bad, we, could, we can work with that. But since there is two sides, let's just go ahead and flip this over. Since neither image really stamped out the way I wanted it to. Let's just bring it up and I'll take the little part of that higher leaf off of my image or off of my paper. And then my greeting won't be as crowded. I like that much better. Clean off our stamp with our chamois and put away our old olive. And then let's have another try. And I also will have a better space to put this sentiment. And you know, I'm not happy with that. I don't know what it is. I guess maybe I just need to practice with that stamp a little bit more. And sometimes that's it. Sometimes there is a problem with your stamp. You just kind of have to go through and work with it. But um, I think this is definitely a better attempt. So we will work with that and I will just snip the end off of this. People often ask me about the stamp and write markers, why I have them, how I use them. And you know, I can't do it all the time, but like if something just doesn't fill in, I like to use this small end and just give it a little dot. If there's just a few places that didn't fill in quite the way I wanted them to, that is a great use for your marker. Okay, let's put our card together. And let's just start with our large square. And we know that we want to use our liquid adhesive or strong adhesive, not just the regular seal. You would need the seal plus because we're adhering something to an embossed surface. And I'm just gonna kind of center this in this area. Doesn't need to be exact but just do what is appealing to your eye. And that liquid glue just gives us the ability to play with that a little bit. I want to take a bit 
of this trim, this evening evergreen trim. Just a little bit more than what goes under here. And I actually do have, also have a tape runner over here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of seal right down the center here. Let's just kind of center it how you want over that area. And it's just enough to hold it in place until we put it on our card. I just thought it needed a little bit of something. And I do actually like that this ended up being long enough to go clear across there. I do want to fix this though, that's bothering me. That's better. So we can put this however we want. And you'll see with my example, I pulled it over further, but since we have this trim on here, I don't think I want to do that. Bring in our dimensionals. Now, I'm not gonna go up on top of this, but I'm just gonna butt it right up against it here, just those two places. It might just have hopped the curb just a little tiny bit. And I didn't bring my Take Your Pick tool over, so we're just going to use our nails today. It takes a little bit longer, but it still gets the job done. And I also, since we're going on that embossed layer, I wanna give this a little bit of glue and that's also gonna help us be able to line this up really nicely. I love the looks of all those different shades of green. And this is kind of a green, these two kind of fall in that, are they green, are they blue category? But I still like them there just the same. We'll bring in our layer. And for this one, I'm just kind of in the mood since my tape runner's laying here. That way also, if I get to looking at it and I don't love that greening, um, I have a little bit that I can just take that off pretty easily with this regular seal. I'm actually not going to really press down on it too much, but I think it looks good. That is fun. Now the inside, since I have my tape runner, I like to use my tape runner when I adhere my layers inside. I just feel like for writing, it lays nice and flat. So I kind of have a thing, I like my liquid glue, but I'm also a right tool for the right job kind of girl. Let's see, yes. I just had a little strip of that designer series paper laying around, so I put that at the top and stamped one of those leaf images at the bottom. Of course, you could add some bling to that card if you wanted to, that would be good. But like I said, I kind of wanted to go more for a masculine feel on this card. And I thought that this trim and these colors just kind of led themselves there. This is the first card that I did and I still love it. I do like a card with white space, um, but I just felt it, even if I would have just put that white layer like this in under there, I probably would have liked it better. Uh, let's see, did I do it? Yes, I did do the inside of that card as well. I did this really sweet fold here using the pineapple. I found that I like the mango melody and old olive combination the best for doing the pineapple. And I just, I didn't stamp anything on the inside since you're kind of limited here as to where you can write. And of course I did envelopes for all of these as well. Sometimes you just need a calm and quiet card and that's what I tried to go for here with making a sympathy card with the plant that's included. And I just didn't put anything on the inside of that. 
did a fun technique on this card. It involved the embossing folder and some clear embossing powder. And so you can hear that that's, it's covered. Um, I'm not sure you can see the sheen on it, especially on a white layer. The camera doesn't love white, but this is just totally, it's almost like it's plastic. So it's really kind of a cool look for a card. And I thought that it was fun for a thanks for brightening up my day. The pineapple is the signature symbol for hospitality. And I thought, you know, that both in the thank you card and this, this is kind of what I was thinking that it would just make a great thank you card. Here are five cards made from a stamp set that I was going to write off. What a big mistake that would have been. So I love how each one of them is different and that I can use them in multiple ways. As always, remember to be kind, send a card, and do something creative. Bye-bye.